Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I have a great video and it's Sunday, so it's going to be good, y'all. So it's mimosas and makeup. I don't have a mimosa because I am filming this video super early because the boys and I are taking a little mini vacay, just like two days. And I wanted to do this beforehand because it is going to take some time and I'm so excited. So if you want to see some dupes for all of Pat McGrath's special shades and all of her motherships. Keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So this was not my idea, so I, I cannot take the credit. This idea came from my friend Tasha, who is a subscriber and also my friend on Instagram. And you know, her whole point was that everybody doesn't want a mothership, need a mothership, care for a mothership. It would be great to just be able to get those. And you know, back at the end of 2019, Pat McGrath did come out with three quads where they were all special shades, but she hasn't come out with anything like that since. All of the motherships, except for the Mothership 4, which is Decadence, have four special shades at the end of her palettes. And if you are familiar with Pat McGrath, you know that she is really known for these special shades. Up until recently, I just wasn't really into the special shades, to be honest with you. I just started really using them a couple months ago when I pulled out the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I was like, you know what, let me get into this. And I do see why they are special. So when it comes to the special shades, I believe there are like four types that she has. She's got the VR shades, she's got the Blitz shades, she's got the Astral shades, and did I say VR? Shoot. Oh, then she has like the shades that have like the numbers at the end, like Refined Gold 002. So there, there's a few different kinds and there are different textures that come with those shades. And lately, I have been into various eyeshadow textures. I think it was when I tried the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette, the second one. That's when I really started to appreciate the textures. And then I started using the Pat McGrath special shades. But if you don't catch a mothership on sale, they're $125. And some people feel like, you know what? I, I have the shadows that I need. I just need the special shades. So I don't wanna spend all this money on a mothership when for four shades, if that makes sense. I went through each mothership, I swatched all four special shades and all nine motherships. And I went into my indie singles collection to try to find something that would be comparable. Some of them are closer than others, but I, I did find something for everything. And one of the things that I found out before I, um, you know, get into it is that some of Pat McGrath's special shades are very similar to one another. So when I was typing up the dupe shades, there were certain shades that were repeated. You know what I mean? In the description box, you're going to see the list that I uh, typed up that has all the special shades for the motherships and then the shades that are dupes. So I hope that you will enjoy this. We are going to go ahead and start with the mothership one subliminal. I am going to turn down the lights and we're going to have a nice little swatch party. Uh, definitely let me know what you think about my dupes and um, I'll be commenting throughout. So we're starting with mothership one subliminal. It comes in this packaging here and this is known for the blue shade and this is a very cool toned mothership palette. I'm going to go ahead and turn the exposure down so I'm going to be a bit dark but I just want um, to turn the, the lights down for accuracy. All right, let's see. Let's see what'll do it here. Let's go down to maybe, let's go to 125 and, and we'll see what this looks like with the palette. Just gonna try to test it out. I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep it here and, and let's see how this looks. So these are the four special shades and I'm gonna read them to you. We have Pale Gold 002. VR Violet, Blitz Blue, 
and astral white so i'm gonna start with the gold shade pale gold 002 and i'm gonna show you the swatch and then we're gonna get in to the dupes so here is our swatch as you can see it is a pale gold shade and this one is not like one of those super sparkly ones so i'm gonna tell you what i came up with and again these are not exact dupes but i think they dupe the vibes and they come pretty close the first shade i have is by Divino cosmetics it is the shade lynx that's what it looks like now as you can see to me lynx has more of a duochrome more of a wetness to it but i still think it takes on some of the same property but it does have a, a gold to a peachy color duochrome flip now the second shade that i found is the shade lady luck and this is by looksy beauty there it is i'm gonna swatch this on the other side of and there we have it now it looks like lady luck has more of uh i don't know we want to call it like an orange to it but these are the shades that i i feel were close and i do have some others but i didn't pick them based on you know the sparkle i'm looking for not just the tone but like the finish as well if i had to choose one I would probably choose the Divina. A lot of the shades that I feel are good dupes are from Divina because the Divina shades have a sparkle in them that I don't really see as much in like my Sydney Gray shades. Some of my Luxie shades have the sparkle. Definitely some of the Terra Moons do, but I, I noticed that a lot were coming from Divina. And this video might be a bit long, y'all, but just want to let you know that let's now take a look at blitz blue this one i'll be honest is hard to to replicate look at that y'all come on and there's our beautiful blitz blue now i only have one shade that i would recommend uh, for a dupe for blitz blue also by divina cosmetics this is one of the aurora flares this is the shade thermosphere now you can already see this is a dual chrome you need to go poop okay he had to let me know there's a, a a depth to blitz blue that a lot of blues don't have so you can already see i think this is wetter it's shinier go ahead and swatch it i'm gonna tell you do you see the flip right there so you can see that this is definitely a duochrome blitz blue is not but the Davina shade, the blue, I think comes really close, but the difference is that blue to purple flip. And I mean, some of y'all might like that better. I think this shade is so beautiful. It's smooth. It is smoother than Blitz Blue. I think you can get the Aurora Flares as a whole bundle on Davina, but you just have to check because Davina be selling out real fast. And I think you can see why. We're gonna now look at VR Violet. So this is VR Violet. It is a duochrome. You can see it change right there. I'm gonna swatch here. And you can see it has a beautiful shine beautiful sheen so the first shade that i picked is the shade abrasion now abrasion is a cleona stained glass i think this one might have a little more depth to it but i think it comes pretty close also the shift in abrasion to me is a little more evident than the pat mcgrath now i also picked out a couple shades from terra moons this one is called moon lily and again this is this doesn't have the same duochrome flip as VR Violet, but I think it is similar in tone. Here's another Terra Moon shade. This one is called Moon Tide. Let's swatch this here above VR Violet. So you can see the tone is a little bit different, but I think it's still very close. Interstellar is also by Terra Moons. And I'm just gonna have to swatch it down here. There's Interstellar. Let's swatch VR Violet again one more time, just so we can compare 
So if you're looking for like dual chromes and things like that, these are really good. They're not exact. They're not the same as VR Violet. I think that VR Violet has a softer flip. And I think that these other shades, especially like this one, I think this would be the one that I would pick um, for sure by Cleona Abrasion. But again, the flip is just a lot more evident. And then we have one more shade, which is Astral White. And that's this shade right here. There's Astral White. Now, Astral White can stand alone, but it also makes a really nice topper shade. And the shade that I, I picked to dupe Astral White is actually the shade Messier, which is also by Davina. And that is what it looks like. And that's what it looks like on the finger. I kept looking at that shade like that can't be right. But yeah, that's what I picked. So there's the dupe. So these are my dupes for Mothership One Subliminal Special Shades. I'm gonna wash my arm and then we're gonna go ahead. Let me see. I, you know what? Let's go to Mothership Two because I have room on my other arm. I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, we're going now into Mothership Two Sublime, one of the slept on motherships, I think. And this one's most known for Blitz Emerald. So our special shades are Bronze 005. We have VR Nectar, Blitz Emerald, and Astral Ghost Orchid. Starting with Bronze Gold 005. So you can see it's a beautiful bronzy orange, no duochrome, but a lot of shimmer and a beautiful, just a beautiful sheen and sparkle. So the first shade I picked as a dupe is by Luxy Beauty. This is the shade Caddy Pillar. I think this one is very, very close. I think it has the same type of shine and the same sparkle. And this one actually has some golden reflex in it. Now the second shade I chose is from Terra Moons and this is the shade Solstice. I think this has more of an orange and is closer to kind of like that bronzy look, but this one is a little deeper, I think. And then this one, because it's more of a duochrome, you do kind of see, again, like that, that color shift. But now let's go to Blitz Emerald. Swatch it here. Now Blitz Emerald is a duochrome. It um, shifts from blue to purple. I think it has a really deep base and that's what makes this one very unique and hard to find. So I did my best in my collection, but you can see that purple shift when I move my arm. The first shade is from Davina Cosmetics and this is the shade Hemisphere. I'm looking at this and thinking this isn't right why I picked this one. Oh, no, it is. So let's let's try another Davina real fast. Let's look at Polaris. Polaris, let's see. I think Polaris might be better. Uh, I'm not sure, let's see. Let's swatch it on the side. Oh, okay, so let's put Polaris on the list. I have to remind myself. Now you can see it gets real like fuchsia right here. So, and, and Hemisphere does, Hemisphere almost goes like, it looks like green to taupe. I think Polaris might be a better dupe. Now, I also have the shade Green Goblin from Terra Moons. And that's this one. I don't think this one's as duochrome though. So that's a possible dupe if you don't want uh, like a duochrome, but. All right, let's see. No, I'm just kidding. I also pulled out the shade Rage. Rage is by Luxie Beauty. Remember, this is Blitz Emerald here. So along the same color spectrum, I think this one might be, does this have a shift in it? Actually, it does. Yeah, and these are all kind of unique in their own way. And that's all, that's all I pulled out. So there are my dupes for Blitz Emerald that I have in my collection. Now let's check out VR Nectar. VR Nectar has one of my favorite shifts. It's the pink to gold shift. And that's it there. So you can see that gold there. And for this, I'm picking out one of my favorite, favorite shades from Divina Cosmetics. This is the shade Tucana. If you've been watching me, I've referenced this shade a lot. <laughs> 
this is one of my favorites and i remember trying to purchase this shade from davina and it is always sold out i don't know if it is now but it was at one point it was always sold out and there it is so again pink to gold i think the indie shades the flips are just a lot more evident but I, I love the Pat McGrath shade too, but Davina, I don't know, these just have more of like a wet look that I think is, is so pretty and unique. All right, and we have one more shade and that is Astral Ghost Orchid. And that's this Now shade. there's Astral Ghost Orchid. And as you can see, mm, Astral Ghost Orchid is, it's kind of pale and a little dry. It's a little ashy, not unless my palette's just old, which it is, but this one is not a favorite of mine. And um, before this one, I chose the shade Luminaire. This is a stained glass uh, shade by Cleona Cosmetics. And honestly, this one's a little dry too. So it might be the iridescent shade that they're trying to create, which makes it uh, difficult. So there's Astral Ghost Orchid and there's Luminaire by Cleona. And you they're very similar. I think I like Luminaire better. Astral Ghost Orchid has more of a sheerness to it whereas Luminaire is a little more opaque. There are my shades for Sublime, Mothership 2. All right, I'm gonna wash off my arm and then we are gonna get into Subversive, Mothership 3. All right, y'all, we are going to Mothership 3, Subversive. And I think at the beginning I said I was doing all nine Motherships, but you know, I'm not doing number four because Decadence does not have special shades. So yes, this used to be like my favorite mothership. Midnight Sun was my last uh, number one, but there is the beautiful subversive. And we have our four special shades. And I think the one that everybody loves is this one, Gigabyte, which is also, uh, it's called something different, but it basically is in Bridgerton too. And then we have Blitz Amethyst, VR Pink, and Astral Ghost Orchid. Now, hold on. So Astral Ghost Orchid is a repeat special shade, and I picked a different <laughs> dupe for it. All right, let's start with Gigabyte. That's the one that everybody loves. All right, so there is Gigabyte. My first dupe is the shade Martian by Terra Moons. There's Martian. You can see, I think Martian has a different colored base. This one is a little deeper. Next, we have the shade Phenomenon from Davina Cosmetics. This is another Aurora Flare. Let's run this on the other side of Gigabyte. Ooh, I think this one looks really good. And you can see this one flips green. I also chose another shade from Davina Cosmetics and this is the shade Celesta. And these are the dupes for Gigabyte. Remember, this one is Gigabyte. So we have Phenomenon, Gigabyte, oh, Martian, and then Celesta. I think if I had to pick one though, I would go with Phenomenon. I just, I love that shade, but mm, I don't know, they're all, they're all pretty close, but um, they're not exact. Hmm? Yeah, can you get them? Did you see them in the, why can't you? You're not gonna put too, well just bring him here. Bring him here. Come on, he can't pour him because he's gonna pour too much. Let's go to Blitz Amethyst. That's this one. I just want to put water on the seat. Is it cereal too? It's not cereal. Ooh, that is so pretty. Look at that color. Look at that. I said whoa. Oh, I didn't hear you say whoa. Look, it's, it's Teddy. Grams. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. I have one dupe and this is the shade Skyla from Divina Cosmetics. That's the closest thing that I had to, what do we call it? Blitz Amethyst? Can't remember if it's Blitz or VR. Blitz. All right, and next we have VR Pink, then VR Pink. It's kind of similar to VR Nectar from Sublime, I think. So there it is and you can see it's another 
pink gold flip. This one looks more of a yellow gold, like an orangey gold. And again, I chose none other than Tucana from Davina Cosmetics. And you can see it is right on par, but you also see the color flip is different. This is like an orange gold. This is more of a yellow gold. And then last but not least, we again have Astral Ghost Orchid, which was also in Sublime. So again, this is that shade. I told you it's a bit ashy. We do have Luminaire from Cleona, which I but we also have the shade Sunlit, and this is by Pretties for Your Face. Let me swatch it here. And that's kind of, actually it's not that close, to be honest. So looking at this in the camera now, I don't know if Sunlit, I don't think Sunlit's a good dupe. I think Luminaire is better because this one doesn't really have the pink in it. So I'm gonna scratch that. Let's keep Luminaire as the dupe for Astral Ghost Orchid. All right, so we are at Mothership 5. We are looking at Bronze Seduction. And I've always said Bronze Seduction, I think might have my favorite special shades. So let's take a look. And here they are, look at that goodness. So we have Rose Gold 005, Blitz Flame, y'all. VR Fire Opal and Astral Luna Gold. Let's get busy. I will tell you that Rose Gold 005, that one was tricky. I only have one shade and that shade really didn't do it for me, but this one, this shade, oh, so beautiful. This is one of the best. It's sparkly. You can see like, just kind of like that metallic silvery shine. The only shade that I felt was similar was the shade Copper Feel. This shade is by Luxie Beauty. And there it is. But you can see the shine and the kind of like the foiliness, uh, that's a word, in this shade is just more than this. But don't sleep on Copper Feel, especially when Copper Feel is like Copper $3, okay? Like, all right, let's go on to Blitz Flame. So there's Blitz Flame, and Blitz Flame is a smooth red. Like this, there's some reflex from me using the same finger, which I shouldn't have done, but this is just a pure, kind of like a fire red shade. And let's see how many I have for this two and a possible, because I can't find it, the third shade. The first shade we're gonna look at is the shade Rudy. Now, for some reason, I feel like Rudy is discontinued. This is by Luxy Beauty, but I'm gonna show it anyway. Rudy shifts from kind of a red to an orange kind of flame look. Cause when I'm looking at these from here, Rudy looks completely orange. I think you can see it right there, or you will be able to find Bonfire. Now Bonfire is by Terra Moons. And again, these are not gonna be exact because Blitz Flame really isn't a duochrome at all. But Bonfire is beautiful, look at that y'all. And by this time my BYOP uh, video is gonna be up, I am gonna be using Bonfire. That's all I got on Blitz Flame, y'all. That's all I got. We next have VR Fire Opal. That is this shade, right? And you can see this, this is a duochrome. It's a sparkly shade. It's got kind of like this gold, green, pink. There's so much going on with this. All right, so that's VR Fire Opal. And for that, I chose two shades. Okay, the first shade is Time Shift. Now, Time Shift is by Terra Moons. I'm just gonna show you all this up close. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I know they, they are different shifts, they are, but that, that's what I found, y'all. I'm sorry, that's what I found. That's the closest I got, it's all I got. And then I chose the shade Link. Oh no, 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 that's a lie. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, this goes for Astral Luna Gold. So I'm going out of order. Let, let's look at Astral Luna Gold. Astral Luna Gold is what I have time shift for. Cause I'm like, they are not the same, but that's all I got. <laughs> Here's Astral Luna Gold, let me show you. Okay, so you see why I picked Link's for that. Okay, I'm like, Karen, that is not similar. It was gonna be similar today. I'm getting confused. Astral Luna Gold 
time shift by Terra Moon. I also chose Lynx for Astral Luna Gold. We'll go back to the other one, Fire Opal, in a second. Now this is by Davina, and I think I used this in another shade. So here is the Pat McGrath, Astral Luna Gold, Time Shift by Terra Moons, Lynx by Davina. Now let's go back here, VR Fire Opal. I only have one shade for this. One gummy worm, yes. Two. One. Or this is Vela by Davina. This was my dupe for VR Fire Opal. There was only one. I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all. It's so exciting. Let's swatch it next to VR Fire Opal. There it is. Okay. All right. That make now that makes more sense. Okay, because I was like, Kara, I don't know what you was doing. All right. So here are my dupes. We have Rose Gold 005, Pat McGrath, Copperfield by Luxy, Blitz Flame. Okay, we have Rudy by Luxy, which is discontinued. Bonfire by Terra Moons. Also, check out Poinsettia by Cleona, one of their circle shades. I cannot find it to swatch it, so but I was thinking it might be similar. I am not sure. We have VR Fire Opal, Vela by Davina Cosmetics, which is here. This is the Pat McGrath. And then lastly, Astral Luna Gold, Time Shift by Terra Moons, and Lynx by Davina Cosmetics. And these are my dupes for the special shades in the Mothership 5 a Bronze Seduction. All right. Okay, y'all moving right along with the Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. I feel like this one kept going on sale because people weren't feeling it or something, but mm -mm, this one is so good. So here she is and we have the special shades, Blood Moon 005, Blitz Violet Orchid, Jubilee, and Astral Solstice. Let's start with Blood Moon 005. Just like the Rose Gold 005, this one is a, a tricky one. Okay, here it is. So we probably might be able to use Copper Feel from Luxy. Why do you want to take the cheese off? I it's like odd. It. Okay, I'll come. I'll come no. do it. One time, can we? I'm doing my birthday. No. When, when people are not on my birthday, right? Like when, like when it's a morning kai, can we go to the car wash? Okay. Please, mom. To the car wash? No, it's my birthday. For your birthday? Um, I'll think about that. That's not a, a large ask. Let me finish this and then I'll come take the cheese off. You know. Okay, this is called Fashion for Success. Now, this is by the Glam Shop. I have to say the Glam Shop Poland. This is a marble shade and it's very nice. And it might not be close, but I just have to show you the shade because it is so interesting. They're kind of messy, but it just depends on which pigments you pick up. And there are these red, orange, and gold pigments in this. And it might be a bit deeper than Blood Moon and that's okay. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, this isn't a dupe. This is not a dupe. I'm so sorry it's not. But it's real pretty, isn't it? <laughs> um, do, do we want to swatch Copperfield? Let's swatch Copperfield one more time. I just think Copperfield is not going to be copping enough. It, this one's hard to dupe. This one is. Copperfield is probably a better dupe, but just so y'all know, these marble shades by Glam Shop are so, so nice. Okay, let's move on. So next we have Blitz Violet Orchid, and that is the iconic purple shade from the palette. There it is. I pulled out the shade Extra Celestial by Terra Moons. Again, this is more vibrant, I think, than the Pat McGrath, but I think it would still give the same effect on the eye. Let's also look at Moon Tide. I think I pulled out Moon Tide for another shade. There was Moon Tide and Moon, Moon Lily. So either of those may work as a dupe. Let's just see what it looks like. I, just looking at it now, I don't know. Because Moon Tide actually has some blue in it like that and you see the Pat McGrath shade doesn't really have a color flip at all. It's just 
one color but moon tide is beautiful if you like shades like that so those are my dupes for blitz violet orchid next we're going to look at dupes for jubilee and this reminds me a bit of the pale gold 002 i think it was from subliminal so that's this shade here and um actually i think one of the shades i picked so we have lady luck did i show lady luck already i think i did from looksy at this point but look that's still a little more like an orangey tone but i think they're really close i also picked out the shade carrot by cleona we're gonna put it on the other side so it's looking a little deep let's see uh, it's a little deeper but this is as close as i could get in my collection and last but not least we have astral solstice and that's it right here all right there it is first shade glamorous by give me glow and this this actually might knock uh astral solstice out the park we'll see so that's glamorous it's beautiful i don't know looking at this i'm not sure i have prosecco from Cleona. I'm looking at this like, I don't know if this is gonna measure up. Let's let's check it out though. Oh, this is kind of dull compared to both shades, but I, these two have the same tone though. This is a lot brighter, I think. But this, no, that's not gonna do it. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it on the list. We also have Tomback by The Glam Shop. Now remember, this is our original shade. Let's put it here. Tomback is very close. It's a little different, but I think it might be the closest. And last but not least, I pulled out Opulent from my Cleona Stained Glass Shades. Ooh, this one's close too. This one's very close. So yeah, I think out of what I showed you, this one, this one, and this this one looks a little pink, pinkier, I guess. I don't know, but these are my dupes for Mothership, what is it, Six, Midnight Sun. Let me know your thoughts, let me know if you have any shades that you think you have that could dupe these as well all right you guys next we're moving on to mothership number seven which is divine rose and i am wearing this on my eyes i did film this look so this is going to be in an upcoming video where i am playing with this palette i did rank this last uh, out of all my motherships but i'm not sure if it's going to stay in last place anymore now the one thing that i want to tell you is that one of the special shades is a repeat it is astral solstice which we saw in midnight sun so i picked out the same dupes for that so i'm only going to be swatching three of the special shades for divine rose so here is the beautiful divine rose which kicked off all the pink that is happening now for our special shades, we have Refined Gold 002, VR Rose Venus, Iridescent Pink 003, and Astral Solstice, which is the repeat shade. And we're gonna start with Refined Gold 002. Now, I'm looking at this and thinking, how different is this from Pale Gold 002, which I think was in Subliminal Mothership 1, because I did pick out one of the same shades for a dupe shade and let's see let's just see how close we get to uh the the real thing so there it is so i have again carrot from cleona i feel like this is a bit deep to to use this as a uh, comparison shade but let's just see because some of this just started to uh, not not that deep it is deeper though but some of these just really started to run together after a while now i also have the shade honeycomb this is also by cleona i think this will be more of a suitable match than carrot I, I i really do let's run it here if i had to choose i think this is a bit off so but i'll leave it on the list just so you can see so that's carrot and that's honeycomb now i also have a sydney grace shade here and this is the shade apricot I actually think apricot is super close. And then I did pull out Lady Luck again from Luxy. Yeah, I think the winner would be the apricot shade. Let's go to Rose Venus, VR Rose Venus, excuse me. Now this one looks like it's a bit of a, a duochrome. So let's see. So the first shade I have here, and I'm kind of looking at it 
Mm. This is Wicked Rose. Now, Wicked Rose is by Terra Moons. I only have two comparisons for this one. So yeah, this is kind of a no. Wicked Rose does have a gold flip. Like, especially if you look right there. Look right there, right there. You can see that there is similarity there. Okay, this shade's just off, but I'm gonna show it to you. This is the shade Cookie. Is this right? Let's just take a look at it. I'm gonna swatch it on the other side. Uh, it's a great shade, but I think these two are more similar. I, I like this shade. I'll leave it on the list in case you like it. This is Iridescent Pink 003, because I'm on a roll here, but there's the Iridescent Pink 003. Now, one of the shades that I chose is one of my favorite Terra Moon shades, and it's Red Giant. I'm gonna let you know that I like Red Giant better than the Iridescent Pink 003, and Red Giant really is more red. It has more of a flame in it. It has more of that fire. Like, it is outstanding. It is outstanding shade. If you have Red Giant, you already know. Like, even on here, I, I can't even tell you, but like, there really is no comparison between the two. They're nice. Red Giant has a light, it has a glamour. It has something that a lot of other shades don't have, but it's got that fire in it. And I think it's a great dupe for this one. I think it's a, a better shade. Woo! so good i did pick luminaire again by cleona but you can see why i chose that this is it's a little calm but this one got that fire it is a beautiful shade so these are my dupes for uh divine rose and again there are a couple outliers when i was just watching i don't even know why i chose that i don't i'm not even sure let's we don't have to take that off the list um i'll just write a note and then this one should probably come off. I think that's kind of an outlier. If you don't, let me just tell you, if you don't take anything away from this video, Red Giant is that shade. I love this shade. It is not just a topper. You know, it can stand alone and you just use that on your lid and you can see that kind of red to gold flip. And it is, it is one of my favorite shades. One of my favorite indie shades is Red Giant. We've got two more palettes. So if you need to pause and re-up on whatever you have to drink or eat, go do that now. Cause we are gonna get into Divine Rose 2. Divine Rose 2 will always have a special place in my heart. So let's get into that now. All right, you guys, we are at Divine Rose 2. And this palette is so special to me because this was the first time that I participated in a Pat McGrath launch. I did a YouTube video, my very first YouTube video where I was actually talking, was uh, talking about the upcoming launch and I was so excited because I had been so obsessed with Pat McGrath and this was the first palette that I was gonna be able to participate uh, in as far as a launch. I felt like this palette was so much more exciting than Divine Rose and I, I definitely didn't appreciate Divine Rose the way I do now. I still love this one so much more than Divine Rose because you can do a really subdued, chill look, but then, you know, this is an artistry palette. You can use this on your face, on your lips, just however you want. They're just more vibrant colors. And we just didn't need anything after this, but that's a whole nother conversation. I love the packaging on this one as well. Let's get into these special shades. And I will say that at the time, I, I definitely did not have the indie singles collection that I do now. The shade VR Sextra Terrestrial, I was like, wow. I probably had some. I'm wondering, did I have my Aurora Flares? But I kind of don't think that I did. Hmm. I really don't know. No, I didn't. I couldn't have because this was my first like full YouTube video. So I know I didn't, I didn't even know what Davina was at the time. So VR Sextra Terrestrial was just, the bee's knees, but I have a lot of dupes for this one. So let's just go ahead and get into it. We have Bronze Rose 005 VR Sextra Terrestrial, Gold Lust 001, and Astral Pink Moon. Let's start with Bronze Rose 005. That's this one here. And again, you are going to see a shade that's repeated um, as far as the dupe. So there's Bronze Rose 005. Again, we have Copper Feel from Luxie. So if you you see, like Copper Feel's been used several times. So if I was gonna look for indie shades to get, Copper Feel would probably be one. 
the tone is a little off. Hmm. I don't know, like this, like from here it looks okay, but like looking at them up here, you can tell that they're different. But as far as the texture, they have the same texture. So I think I, there is a shade dupe for this one. I'm sure you can find it. I just know I don't necessarily have it. Now I also picked Salamander by <laughs> Cleona. And see, I feel like the, the more I go into this video, I'm like picking shades and I'm kind of like, I don't know why I picked that shade, but let's see. Let's put it here. Oh, well, but neither one of these are the same as our bronze rosé. So yeah, some of these um, rose gold type shades I feel like are a bit tough to, to dupe exactly, but we can still have the vibe. So sorry y'all, that almost makes me wanna go back through my collection and look again, but I, I was very thorough. Let's move on. We next have Gold Lust. I'm gonna go to Gold Lust 001 only because I need more room for VR Sextra Terrestrial. So this is the Gold Lust shade. And I don't think it's gonna be hard, even if I don't have an exact shade, to find a gold. Like in a Pat McGrath palette or out of a Pat McGrath palette, you're gonna be able to find one. So let's see what we have here. I have Aztec Ruins by Sydney Grace. That's this one here. I feel like that's pretty close. And then I took Solstice, which I think Solstice is a bit too orange, but let's just go ahead and look. Solstice I used in an earlier dupe, but I'm almost thinking that's not bad. All right, let's get into Astral Pink Moon. I wanna show you that one because I only have one for that. And that's this shade here. And then we'll save the rest of my arm for the VR Sextra Terrestrial dupes. And this one has a beautiful sparkle to it. Astral Pink Moon. And I chose a Give Me Glow shade. Let me show it to y'all. And this is the shade Roses Remix. Now I think Roses Remix, again, is gonna blow, blow this out the water, but I'm just gonna show it to you. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Yeah, look at that. I mean, if anything, you could just, see a shade that you like. I don't have an exact dupe. Let me grab something from the Glam Shop really fast. This is the shade Epigram and I think it's called something else on the website now. We, we just may be reaching here. This is a great shade, this one right here. I just think these kind of have a similar vibe, like the transparency in these two shades, whereas Roses Remix, I don't even know why I picked Roses Remix. I think I just wanted to show y'all Roses Remix because it's really good. But these two, these are really good. So I'm gonna have to add that to the description box. Let's get into the shade we all wanna talk about, which is VR Sextra Terrestrial and the dupes for that. Oh, I'm recording. I I, I'm tired too, but I asked you, did you want earbuds? And now I can't get up to get them because I'm swatching a really important shade. So I'll come get you in a minute with my earbuds. Okay. This is very important. I asked him, I said, do you want to lay in here? Do you want to lay in here? No, thanks. Okay. Well, you snooze, you lose. Now look at VR Sexual Terrestrial. Okay. All right. So there we go. Now this is like, whoo truly like an indie shade and i think we up until this point had not seen any more mainstream brands include these types of shades in palettes at least that's what i've heard first we have starfire by divina cosmetics again some will be close than others so this has a different flip this flips green this flips purple Let's look at Australis by Davina Cosmetics. Hi, I think that's the dupe right there. Look at that. That's the shade, that's the exact shade. So if you want VR Sexual Terrestrial, go ahead, get yourself Australis by Davina, cause that's it. We have Cygnus also by Davina. Nothing's gonna be, I mean, there, there might be, you see that has a gold flip. So again, VR Sexual Terrestrial, this other shade that's not the same. We have Australis, Cygnus. We have Magellanic by Davina. Let's see what this flip is. 
So see these two are very similar. They've got more of an orange flip. VR Sexual Terrestrial has the green, but from right here, they look very close except this one because you can see the purple there, but the rest of them I think look close. Centauri is by Terra Moons. Now Centauri has a golden flip, golden green, orange, orange, green, green. You see that? We've got Forge by Cleona. This one has a bit of a green. I gotta find somewhere for this to go. Forge is very close because you can see the green, green, there's VR Sextra Terrestrial. So Forge is super close if you're looking to get a stained glass shade. And last we have Sandblast by Cleona. So let's see, VR Sextra Terrestrial is here. Can we put this here? Let's see. Ooh. Now this one is a bit different because look how gold it is. Look how gold it flips. So this is gonna be a bit different. And you see the gold, the green here is kind of like uh, dirty. It's real dirty, real dirty. So there are my dupes for VR Sextra Terrestrial. Remember, this is VR Sextra Terrestrial, but I think that Australis, is that the one it is by Davina? That's the dupe. Yep, if you want a dupe for VR Sex Terrestrial, that's it. I'm gonna go right into Blitz Sex Stream, which is from uh, Utopian Dream. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is because the difference in the shade is really slight, so I picked the same dupes. So here's the Utopian um, Dream, I was gonna say scheme. And this is Blitz Sex Stream. Bronze Solaris 005. Blitz Sex Dream, Astral Venetian Orchid, and Astral Amethyst Moon. So let's go ahead with Blitz Sex Dream. I'm gonna swatch it right on top and then you can see the comparison. Let's put Blitz Sex Dream here. And you can see it's like a distant cousin to VR Sexual Terrestrial because this flip is just more like vibrant and sharp if that's that's the only word i can explain and then this one like when i look at my arm right now i'm just saying because you see something different like i see green green red orange orange green green gold and then i see another gold here which is just a little more pale so this is going to be like a, a cousin to VR Sextra Terrestrial. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna finish this video strong with the Utopian Dream and then we'll wrap it up. All right, you guys, if you're still here, I first have to say thank you for making it this far. We are at Mothership 9, the Utopian Dream. And we have three special shades we're gonna look at since we already looked at uh, Blitz Sex Stream. So here's the palette and our shades are Bronze Solaris 005, Blitz Sex Stream, which we already looked at, Astral Venetian Orchid, and Astral Amethyst Moon. So first we're gonna start off with Bronze Solaris 005. And there it is. The three shades that you're gonna see I've used already. We have Caterpillar by Luxie Beauty. Salamander from Cleona Cosmetics. This is kind of off, I don't know, you know, doing this and then looking at it when I'm, I'm really filming, these two are pretty close. I, this one we can probably take off. And I do have Copperfield here again by Luxie Beauty. I think that tone is off, but I think the closest match is the Caterpillar shade from um, Luxie. So those are my dupes. And again, if they're a little off, at least you can just see there are just some beautiful indie swatches out here, indie shades. Let's go to Astral Venetian Orchid, and that's this shade here. Okay, so that's our shade. I chose Terrestrial from Terra Moons, which I think I did use already. Again, this is a bit more opaque, but I still think they have similar tones. It may look completely different when I'm looking at this, like <laughs> to edit. And then I chose Opulent by Cleona, which I used as well. Let's put it on the other side and see. I think these two are a closer match than this one. So those are my dupes for Astral Venetian Orchid. And we have our beautiful purple shade, which is this one here. That is Astral Amethyst Moon. Put it here. 
have a few shades for this one. Let's start with the shade Tracery. Now I haven't used this already. We have Tracery. This is a stained glass shade by Cleona. I think this is close, but I see more of a duochrome in the Astral Amethyst Moon. I also pulled out the shade Enamel, another stained glass by Cleona. Now I think this one may be a bit closer because you kind of see that blue there. So enamel is, I think, a pretty good match. I actually just pulled this out, so I need to write it down. Now the last one I pulled out that might be a stretch is the shade Spotlight. And we're gonna be done, y'all. This is also by Cleona, another stained glass. Um, actually, this is kind of close too. So those are my dupes for Astral Amethyst Moon. And you know, for me, and, and here are the rest of the dupes for the palette, for me, it, the shade does not have to be spot on, but like from here, you're just talking about a vibe, about getting the same look on the eye and possibly saving you some money. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it because there were some takeaways um, in this video for me. And one of them is, and, and this is not singling out uh, Pat McGrath at all. One of the things that we see with a lot of brands is that there are lots of repeats. They may have a different name. They may have the same name. They may have a little tweak to them that makes them a little bit different. But in the end, I think the question is, what does it look like on your eyes? If it's gonna look the same, then what does that little difference in the shade mean? Or what does the change in a shade name even mean if it's gonna look the same? You know what I'm saying? And as I am thinking about this, when I look at my dupes, there are some shades that really stood out to me, like a lot of the Davina shades. There were just some shades that I used for dupes for different shades across palettes. So another takeaway for me is like, you don't have to have it all because you basically have it. Like. I, I compare a lot of these bronze shades and the refined gold shades to the pale gold 002, which is the one that sticks in my mind because that was the first one I came across in the Mothership One. And we see that she includes a lot of similar type shades. This is definitely uh, like another eye opener and I continue to surprise myself, you know, with um, the collection. So I don't look back at any of my Pat McGrath uh, things, especially not my motherships, and say, oh, you know, I shouldn't have gotten that one. I do feel like that a bit about like the Bridgerton one and maybe a couple of the quads, but not about the motherships. So for me, I think the motherships are gonna continue to be a go. And um, I may do some changes as far as some of her smaller palette releases, if they are going to continue to be like, in the same color story. Bringing out these motherships just lets me know like they are treasures. They are treasures in my collection, whether you can dupe the shades or not. They are beautiful, they are luxurious, and they are all treasures, even the Utopian Dream one. And it makes me look at some of my other palettes and think, why did you get that when you could be using one of your motherships? Only because I already have them, you know? As far as the dupe shades though, Indy has so much to offer. I am more so into the Indy singles versus the Indy palettes. So if you watch any of my um, purchaser pass videos, you may have heard me comment about the Indy palettes that are coming out and how there are so many and how they look so similar. I don't feel like that about my singles at all. I think that all of these brands that I mentioned in this video, and, and many more probably that I haven't, but the ones that I mentioned in this video, none of them are similar to each other. Davina, no, in a league of their own. Terra Moons, they're in their own league. Looksy, in their own league. And Looksy is very underrated, very underpromoted and very affordable and beautiful. Give me glow, y'all. League of their own, I'm sorry. Who else? Sydney Grace in a league of their own. Glam Shop is in a league of their own. Cleona, okay, in a league of their own. They are just amazing, amazing indie brands. And I think that if you like 
those types of shifty shades, you would love these. I think that what deters people away is because it is really challenging to look at all the individual singles on an indie website. That's why when Cleona did their little bundles of seven, I thought that was great. Davina sells some of their shades and bundles. Tara Moon sells some of their shades and bundles. Luxie sells some of their shades and bundles and Give Me Glow just started doing like bundles of four. So look for those um, if you are interested in picking out indie singles and don't know where to start or where to go. But um, I hope that this was like a great meetup of like a luxury brand versus like these indie brands and just looking at what both have to offer because they both have something special. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I just have to say thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. Thank you to my friend Tasha for just suggesting this idea in the first place. Honestly, I wanted to get on it as soon as possible. So thank you. And um, I keep bringing ideas. I'm having a ball going through all of this in my collection and just going back and enjoying it and rediscovering things and seeing if I feel the same, if I feel, if I feel different. It's really been fun. And I, I hope it inspires you to do the same in your collection, however big or how, however small it is. So I hope this was therapy for you. It definitely was for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,